On this episode of Curry Garage, I'm excited to show you an experience I've never had before, rolling in a lowrider. Mike and Kay from MK Garage out in Los Angeles, California brought their killer 64 Impala, and we're gonna go and have some fun in it. Let's go check out this car. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? Hey, man, I want to say thank you for bringing this down, yeah, bro. I really appreciate sure. you. Kay? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming down. <laughs> so, what'd you bring Curry Garage today? Uh, 1964 Impala um, SS. Obviously, a specific style. This is definitely a low rider, right? Yes, correct. Yep. Yes. So, tell me within low riding, I mean, is there like a different genres? I mean, is there like, is it just all, we're all low riders? Uh, there's different genres, but in the sense, yeah, they're all low riders. They're small wheels, wire wheels, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, cool paint jobs. It's, it's a low rider. Tell me like, what went into the build. Like, did you guys do a full frame off, or how did you get the Yeah, car? this car's fully framed off. Every nut, bolt, motor, everything, tranny, everything rear end. So full restoration. Full restoration. restoration. Yeah. yeah. And then it, it seems like you kind of went OE in some places and then custom in others. Yeah, that was the look we were going for. She, you know, she likes classic looking stuff, you know. Yeah. Very simple. Um, so they like, sometimes they say simple is more and this is what we got, you know. It's almost harder to say simple sometimes, huh? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because yeah. it's really not simple, but it's as far as simple goes. Yeah. I mean, there's no graphics, crazy, you know, stuff everywhere. It doesn't have a bunch of chrome. Well, I mean, I see a couple of body mods, right? I mean, like, obviously this is yeah. a factory, right? sunroof, correct, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. sunroof, anything else? Honestly, that would be it as far as body mods go because everything else is the factory car, yeah. Is factory Impala. Yeah. Awesome, man. Other than the hydraulics. <laughs> Other than the hydraulics, right on. Well, yeah. I, I definitely want to get into that. Um, I'd like to kind of show what's under the hood. Sure. And see what that looks like. You guys mind if we pop the hood Let's on it? pop the hood. All right, let's do it. To me, this just feels like you just popped the hood on 1964. Yeah, that's pretty much the look we were going for, you know? Surprise people when you pop the hood, everyone expects a big old LS or something like that. We went with the 350, dressed it up to look like the stock 327. Yeah, like even with the 327 valve covers. Yeah, and... just all the detail, the stickers, the air cleaner. We went with the Fitech uh, carburetor. Yeah. Oh, you know, so fuel injection. Fuel injection, yeah. Yeah, EFI, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it just runs smooth, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's get up and go, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, so it's, it's almost harder to kind of build a car that way, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, you guys run a garage, right? Correct. MK garage? Yes, correct. Okay. Yeah. And you guys pretty much do full restorations? Yes, or? we do full restorations um, from original to this or even beyond. Yeah, and then, Kay, you, you, you work there too, right? Yes. Okay. And are you into fabricating or? Yeah, uh, normally I'm uh, doing the welding. Oh, you do welding? Yeah, yeah. she's, oh, she's the welder down. at the so, shop. Yeah, like she actually did the this. frame on this car. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah. Now, do you guys actually drive this, take a distance? We do We do drive this. Um, majority of the time it is on a trailer and only because we still show the car. Certain stuff that we're invited to, we'll drive it there, you yeah. know? But yeah, most of the time we won't drive it yet because we are still showing the car. Okay. So. Obviously, wire wheels. Are Correct. they, what, 13s, 14s? It's 13s. Yeah, uh, 13s? Yeah, 13s, 70s, two spoke uh, Dayton wires. Okay. You know, got the gold nipple, gold hub. Got Zenith knockoffs on it, though. Three bar Zenith knockoffs. It kind of gives it a, a different look, a different flavor. But these are the wheels and tires that you want to go with. Really? Like when you are low riding, you know, it's. A, so they're kind of built look. to kind of take the, the bounce, or? No, not really. I mean, tires are tires. There's nothing, you know, nothing's built. Especially for these, they're just what we were what you have. dealt with at the time. Yeah, it's what comes in that size. Then. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys exactly. do what you got, right? And this is like the classic lowrider tire look, yeah. and everything. I mean, okay. people do run radials, Remingtons, Travel Stars, Mile Stars, but mm -hmm. on this kind of car, the way we went, that that classic OG lowrider look, we went yeah. with these tires. Yeah. What, what tires are these? These again? are 520 Premium Sport Weight 13. Premium Sports. Yeah. Okay, I've heard those before. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you probably have to deal with skirts in the back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, they probably don't even know what that is. You know? Right. They so don't. These cars, they came factory with a cover yeah. right here. And that's that's the skirt, right? The skirt to hide the wheel a little bit, you know? Other guys, like, I understand hot rods and stuff like that. They like the bigger wheel wells and stuff like that. But we yeah. tend to hide the wheel. The lower, the less wheel you see in the back, of course, we feel the nicer the car looks. Obviously then that kind of causes a, a wheel and tire fitment versus the, how the rear end's built. Yeah, a lot of times people will try to put these rims on their cars. The rear end would have to get shortened. 
So you'd have to take it off, go get it somewhere, get it short and put it back on. But you're using stuff from 1964, right. which apparently, you know, the housings weren't as strong as, you know, the housings that are now. So, yeah. you know, that was the, the main reason to switch over and use a natural carrier in on the car. Right. And did we build them narrower for you? Yes, this one's narrow, an inch and a quarter narrow because of disc brakes and stuff like that. Okay. So disc brakes, 13 inch wheel and skirts mm -hmm. equates to custom curry. Right? Exactly. Right yeah. on. Yeah, and that's that's cool, man. I'm glad yeah. that we can do that for you. I'm seeing like stock floor mats, stock seat belts. Floor mats, seat belts. You got child door locks from, uh, this was an accessory for a four door, but we put them on. Child you door locks? Child door locks, yeah. So the kids couldn't unlock the door. Oh, no way. Power windows, power vents. Uh, now, were they power back in the day? Yes, they were power back in the day, so. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you had to, you basically had to restore all this, huh? Yeah, yeah. pretty much restored it. Tilt column, tack. Was uh, it stock tilt column too? This car's a little different. This car, people ask a bunch of questions because it is a Super Sport. Super Sport had floor shifter. Okay, okay. This one has a column shift because it has a, a factory delete. The person who ordered this car back in the day wanted their shifter on the column and not on the floor. Not on the floor. They There's ordered the, this car this way. Exactly. So this is actually how this came in 64. Exactly. Oh man. What's up with the compass? The compass is factory. That was no a factory way. option back then. Yeah. So a, straight a up factory eye. navigation yeah. right there. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our jewel box. This is it? Hot rods, everyone. Their jewel box is engine compartment. Engine compartment. This is this is our jewel box. For somebody who has absolutely no idea what they're looking at other than a lot of chrome, <laughs> what is this, man? This is a four pump setup. Mini okay. pumps, has aircraft dumps, aircraft uh, cutoff valves to slow the car down. That's what controls the car. You know, when you see them go real slow down, that's what does that. So there's valves that just basically reduce flow for exactly. hydraulic fluid yeah. or something? Okay. Yeah. You're looking at $20,000 in the trunk right here. Oh, and then from here back, that's, that's all battery? 10 batteries, 10 kinetic batteries, yes. Damn. 10 batteries wired in series. Okay, and, um, and why, why do you need so many batteries? Well, the car's heavy, we like to hop, and of course, like an RC car, the faster, the bigger battery you have, the faster the motor spins, mm -hmm. the faster the car's gonna work. It's just the momentum, everything, the gear, the way it spins, fills the pump, sends it through the line, sends it to the front, picks up the car. Oh, it okay. Just a, it makes it quick. So the battery somehow controls the hydraulic pressure, like it's yeah, kind of running exactly. the pumps, and then if exactly. it's pushing harder, it's that's what get, okay, exactly. I get it now. I never yeah. knew that. Yeah. Honestly, it's tell you the truth, it man, it, yeah. I never knew that. Uh, this has gotta be a lot of weight, right? Ah, oh, yeah, it's a lot of weight. This <laughs> is. For an actual car that, you know, you drive, it's common to have 10 batteries, four pumps, you know, but there are cars that have more batteries than pumps, but this is not one of them. Well, man, I, I dig it. I appreciate it because I can tell there's a lot of hard work in that. And uh, if anybody's ever bent hard lines and tried to plumb anything. Yeah, they would know, yeah, exactly. Would know. So I do, that's mad respect, man. Awesome job. I think this might be the cleanest car that's ever been on this list. <laughs> I mean, you know, we a lot of off-road stuff comes through here, yeah. a couple muscle cars, obviously, right? But dude, I am not joking when I say you could eat off of this. Yeah, like, no yeah. doubt, dude. This is amazing. We try to keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, full-blown show car, man. So, I mean, from front to back, it's not full chrome. No. Right? I mean, no. I know you guys have done that yeah. before, but this is a little different, though. Yeah. Like I said before, it's just keeping it old-school, classy, you know? with the satin black, the way they came before, but just all the highlight chrome stuff, you know, but whatever was zinc plated as chrome now, you know, so. Yeah. And it brightens it up and makes it look good, you know, so. Right, right. And I mean, the exhaust is, I mean, that's all polished? Stainless? Yeah, that's all polished stainless, yeah. Okay. Are those factory mufflers or? Yeah, they're factory uh, style mufflers. Stainless, yeah. They make, make them in stainless now so they don't corrode and. I mean, with the, the rear end suspension and stuff, that's all powder coated, but then you've got the, the sway bar oh, underneath here. Sway bar, yeah. Sway yeah. bar came off a uh, older style Monte Carlo. We got to bend them a little bit, put them on, but it gives it a little bit more look too. Obviously, these look like regular shocks to me, but you're shooting hydraulic fluid through that? Is no, that how that works? Uh, or? Hydraulic, this is a shock. This is okay. actual shock. Okay. But then this is the hydraulic cylinder, and we do a coil over. Before all you off-road dudes had coilovers, yeah. we did it first. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we have we have coilovers here that the coil goes over and everything, and it pretty much keep the coil from kicking out when the car is jumping around in the bag. Okay, so you got the hydraulic cylinder bolted right to the arm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, we okay. got it on a power a power ball, which is a pivot, 
and it lets it, you know, articulate, do whatever it wants to do, you know. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. I know we built this rear end like we would almost any other Impala rear end, mm, right? Correct. Yeah, so I mean, this is this is not an off the shelf though, 59 to 64 Impala rear end. We, we no. narrowed it up, huh? You guys narrowed it up for us, yeah. Now I did notice that the upper control arm in these cars is only usually one arm. Correct. Right? These cars didn't really have the second arm. Right. And so this is custom right the here? The crossover is custom, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then that's why you can't run a panhard bar. A panhard, because it keeps it it keeps it centered already, so we don't have to worry about swaying left to right. Okay, all right. So. Is that what they call a wishbone? Or? Uh, this is a Y-bone. Y-bone. There's okay. another one, a wishbone. It actually mounts up here on the middle of the frame, but I like using these ones better. Yeah. And I think you run what we call our Explorer brake, right? Correct. Okay, and yeah, I've seen you chrome those before. If, yeah, it fits the rims, it fits the smaller diameter rims. They are a 13.7, but they're reversed, so they stick out. So if they were a 13.7 standard, of course, they would rub the caliper all day long, but these ones actually stick out, so everything clears perfect. So the you trick got... is a reverse rim. Exactly. I got it, yeah. okay. So then the caliper sticks on the back side of the exactly. wheel. Exactly. Oh, so it's way out of the way. Exactly. So yeah, so standard Explorer brake fits a 13. Mm -hmm. Just gotta know what you're doing. Exactly. Right on. Well, it, dude, I, like I said, it's probably this, the cleanest car I've ever seen on this lift, or ever. I mean, this thing's amazing. Well done. Thank um, you. I would love to get it out on the road. Yeah, let's and do just kind of never really ridden in a lowrider. In a lowrider, <laughs> dog. So it'll be my first time. Yeah. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> and that's not even that aggressive, huh? No, <laughs> not at all. Oh man. So what, you gotta do that just so you don't hit your head. That's why yeah. you need the sunroof, man. So this is like up, like you're up right now, right? Yeah. You're like race pretty high, on, okay. Yeah. I'm on fluid is what they call it. On fluid, okay. Yeah. I don't know the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta teach me this. Yeah. Did you get them where guys, I mean, they do a whole thing, huh? AC, heat, the whole yeah. deal? Yeah. Yeah, we have the AC and stuff for this one. I just never had time to put it in. Oh, okay. So that's in the plans and then the yeah. works for this bad boy? I got you. We got all the vintage air and stuff like that for it. So. Oh, okay. So you guys do a little bit of it all, huh? Yeah. We're uh -huh. vintage air dealer. Oh, really? Yeah. Right on. You know what? Yeah, this doesn't really ride that bad. You know? You know? I mean, it's actually kind of comfortable. I mean, if you're obviously rolling slow, but that's kind of what yeah. you do, right? Yeah. So you look I mean, out for you can get on the freeway and go, but this is just a... You know, when you're in the street, you don't want to drive like a maniac. Some people do. Some people do. Yeah. Yep. That was dope. Dude, I've never done that before. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> Get aggressive with it, man. Go for it. <laughs> wow, dude. That's... That is awesome. All right, Mike, I want to thank you, man, for bringing this out today and showing us a little bit about lowriders. Appreciate it. And how to use our rear end in them, man. That's, yeah. It's amazing, man. Thanks good job. Thanks for having us, yeah. yeah. You guys keep up the good work and we'll do the same. All right, right yeah. on. Thank you, sir. No problem. All right, I'll see you. If you like this video, subscribe here. If you want to see more Curry Garage, click here. And for more Curry content, right here. <laughs>